RBS Business Research Academy welcomes to you in the lecture number 19. Uh, in this lecture, I have discussed about the how to conduct a complex mediation. Uh, along with this one, I have also discussed the concept of the parallel mediation as well as serial mediation. Dear friends, my two other videos are, are, are also available on the concept of the mediation because if you want to understand the what is the mediation, some critical uh, concepts are there, then you are then you are advised to watch my video number 17. And in the video number 18, I have discussed how to report the results of the mediation analysis in the research paper or for your thesis. So before beginning uh, this video, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Dr. Rahim Bhak Somro, and I'm from Shabdi University, Pakistan. And here you are looking at my uh, uh, certificate, which I earned by completing an online course from the Smart Peerless Academy, Germany, where I complete, completed these nine modules, which are mentioned in the certificate. Dear friends, here you're looking at one model. So on this model, I'm going to apply uh, some of the calculations in order to uh, measure the relationship or uh, different path um, uh, among the different variables which are here. So what are the variables here? So these variables are, uh, are our constant that the first one is quality and the behavior intention. Quality is our independent variable and behavior intention is our dependent variable. Uh, satisfaction is our mediator number one and the loyalty is a medium number two. So now we are going to check out the relationship or path analysis among the, all these constructs. First of all, I would like to check the direct path of the, is the, the impact of the quality on behavior intention. So this row is showing this direct path. And then I will uh, discuss the impact of the set quality and satisfaction. This is this one is also a direct path. And then quality and loyalty, there is also a one direct path. Okay, indirect path, there are the two indirect paths. One is a quality. Now I want to check the impact of quality on behavior intention through a mediator and the satisfaction. This is one indirect path and another indirect path is about the, uh, the impact of the quality on behavior intention through a uh, loyalty. So here the loyalty is our Mediator number two. So that is the uh, all about the uh, model which is here. And uh, let's start to start uh, to apply some of the calculations or algorithm. Okay, but before applying the algorithm, we have to decide that either our all these uh, constructs they are reflective or formal because according to their form uh, type, we have to apply a technique. Otherwise, you will get entirely different results. So now here all are reflective. So that's why if all you uh, construct are reflective, then it's better to choose consistent PLS algorithm over PLS algorithm. PLS algorithm is beneficial when you have a, a completely all the uh, uh, your construct formative. Okay, and but in case if you are uh, there is a mix, I means some of the construct are reflective and some of the formative with the consistent PLS algorithm is good. Our model is completely, uh, there are the, all our variable in this model are reflective. That's why we're choosing the consistent PLS algorithm. Uh, these, some of the results are there. Some of the options are there, our menu. So, uh, if you want to know about all these things, now my uh, videos are available on the smart PLS. Please refer those videos. Start calculations. It is so quick to calculate. So uh, first of all, we are going to, uh, on our model. So in the model, so all the our calculations are there. So the relationship between the quality. So uh, from another side, we are looking uh, on the results. So now you can go on the report. Then the these are some of the paths are there. So behavioral intention, there is no only result because behavioral intention is our dependent variable. This one is our dependent, dependent variable. That's why there is no any result. Okay, now the loyalty 0.495, almost, uh, uh, okay, 49% loyalty on behavior intention. This is the loyalty on behavior intention. The same values, that means which are uh, between the two constants you are finding here. 
So these are our uh, path for which are another part for which the quality because quality has to impact uh, on the behavior intention, loyalty, and satisfaction. So these two paths are there. Now this one is a one path, another this one, another. So that's why uh, there are the total five relationships are there. Part total path, five paths are there. No, you are looking the results of the total five paths. Okay, and this this one is entire path quality to behavior intention. There's thirty nine point four percent. Okay. And this one is a total effect. The effect of the loyalty and behavior intention, the effect of the quality. Is, so all these relationships are here. Okay, so when we add the value of a direct effect as well as uh, indirect effect with each other, we are we can get the total effect. Okay. Uh, another thing is about the outer loading. So there are some issues are there in the outer loading. Those which are in the red color, these are not mistake, but their contribution in comparing with the bearer intention two and three is higher. Or, sorry, is less than that one. And on the other side, the the value of the bearer intention four, five, six, and one, there is the less than point zero uh, point seven zero six. So that's why these are in red colors. Okay. Uh, another wonderful thing which I want to discuss, share with you, that's about the uh, this highlight part. This is like a magic. If you click it, then you will find some of the uh, path highlight part. Hi the path have been highlighted here. Okay. The thickness of this path. Now this one arrow is thick. It depends. Its thickness is depend on its contributor effect on the a dependent variable. So now 63% see the thickness of this arrow is very high than the thickness of this one because this is a it, it has a very less contribution value. So it's a wonderful contribution from the smart fields. At least I have not seen in any other software. Especially I have also worked a lot on the MOS, but the step capacity is not uh, available in the MOS. So now we want to check the which relation is significant and which relation is not significant. We have to go toward, through towards the consistent PLS, PLS bootstrapping. Now the various options are available. So now it's better to watch my video on the bootstrapping. So here I'm selecting the 500 subsamples. So it is better if you want to get a um, better result than I do suggest you that a minimum at minimum 2000 subsamples should be given here are the 5000 because uh, 2000 are 5000 let's start our calculations so dear friends we have got the results after the heavy calculations by the smart PLS. so now the results are before you and there are different uh, path analysis are there for every path analysis the p value is available here so now uh, all are the significant because these all the values of all these are quite less than 0 0.05 except satisfaction and behavior intention there is a this one is not a significant relationship it's statistically significant relationship so here you are looking uh, the all the paths and along with their uh, value either that one significant or this one is significant this one is significant now this 0.63 that is the impact and this point zero 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 this shows the significance that means all this one value is significant because its amount is less than its value is less than 0 0.05 so all four uh, our path are significant except this one because the 0 0.506 that one is higher than the 0 0.05 so now except the this one like the satisfaction and the orientation are our uh, the path analysis D are significant based on the results of the bootstrapping. Okay, and then the indirect path. Now, this indirect path uh, is also our significant, which goes from the quality to behavior intention. And uh, this one's quality to behavior intention that is also our significant. And uh, then uh, here, this is a specific. Uh, path analysis are in other terms we can so this is the result of the mediation so now here the quality satisfaction behavior intention now that's an insignificant statistically insignificant that means the quality that means the quality 
through the satisfaction that there is a uh, insignificant impact of the quality on their intention with the through a satisfaction so it means that here the satisfaction is a method is not performing its role while in case of the loyalty there is a positive uh, and significant relationship with among the quality loyalty and behavioral intention like see this value shows the significance so now the loyalty is playing uh, its role as a method while the satisfaction does not okay and uh, then uh, another thing is about total effects so now the total effects are also the uh, same as the partners or are significant except the statistical uh, satisfaction in the behavior intention the, if it is not significant the, the reason i'm telling you that uh, is in the outloading whenever if you have any problem then just go into the outloading and then you will find some up. so now uh, to do a serial mediation here model is there we can uh, move this constant here you can here or you can keep this one there anywhere you can keep but the concept will remain same uh, okay now the loyalty we have to move this loyalty uh, indicators above okay so now so okay uh, we have to create uh, now all these are the parallel early whatever we discussed so far there was a parallel mediation okay and now we are discussing about the serial mediation so in order to make a serial mediation what connect the satisfaction with the loyalty okay so now the same has become our serial mediation so now we have to check either the serial mediation and all other paths are significant uh, uh, about their uh, values then we have to go into the calculation and a consistent peers algorithm we have to decide okay just start calculations and the results are here it's the same way uh, we have to check out the results so here okay so results are here to so first of all the same thing behavior intention has nothing because it is a dependent variable and the quality and behavior intention you are finding the values are there okay same values are there in this one okay so now uh, we have to go indirect effect now in the indirect effect quality has an impact on the behavior intention and the, also on the loyalty uh, how this the quality is a direct impact on the behavior intention through the uh, satisfaction and another the quality is a direct imp is impact on the uh, behavior intention through a loyalty so these are the path are here and then we have to go into the specific effect so here you are finding some of relations are there okay so this is the mediation quality through uh, satisfaction on loyalty there is also point three three okay quality satisfaction loyalty and behavior intention work okay so all these are our the results of the mediation and uh, here i would like to show the serial mediation this value is of the serial mediation where we are going to check out the impact of the quality on satisfaction and set and loyalty and behavior intention that means we want to check the impact of the quality and behavior intention through satisfaction and loyalty see in earlier there is only one mediator but in this one the specific one there are the Two mediators are there. So now here we want to check the impact of the quality through the satisfaction and then satisfaction, then uh, our loyalty, and then there is a behavior. So this one is called is a serial mediation because some of the series is there. Okay, in the uh, in the mediation analysis, there is only one mediator, but here you are looking two mediators are there. So that's why we call it is a serial mediation. Okay, so now these are the values of the specific uh, indirect effect. Now we will check either these uh, paths, like the mediation, direct, indirect path, mediated path, are the results of the serial mediation. Either these are significant or not. Now we have to go inside the consistent PLS algorithm and check out the consistent PLS algorithm with the 500 sample size okay now the results of bootstrapping are also available so here all the uh, path analysis are given in the path coefficient 
and uh, ex except the one all are our significant like the certification behavior intention is it was also uh, insignificant statistically in the previous attempt in this attempt the same result is there again the reason is about the outer loadings okay and uh, then we have to check the total indirect effect so now in the total indirect effect again the all are uh, like our significant but quality satisfaction there is no because the reason is that one that we there are the two mediators are so now here that's a serial mediation so that's why there is no any total in, uh, indirect effect now here the results for the uh, this one is available in the specific so results are available in the specific uh, indirect effects so from here the you are looking the all the values are uh, significant except this one is insignificant which is in red color okay but here we are interested in the serial mediation the results of the serial mediation that's also significant it means that the satisfaction and loyalty as a mediator are playing their role in this one so now these are as a mediator between the quality and the behavior intention so that's the results of the uh, serial mediation and uh, then uh, these are the total effects okay all are significant okay now that we have received the results of the uh, bootstrapping and uh, from these it shows that the, it is serial mediation now satisfaction and the, uh, your loyalty they are playing a role of the mediator so that's all about uh, this one but again i would like to touch this wonderful uh, option now this shows now the thickness of this one is quite heavy than all these one okay so this is all about the, this, uh, this lecture i hope that means you have found this uh, video informative and useful for your data analysis at the end you are requested to please take care of yourself and also take care of this channel thank you very much